this trailer right here. Oh no! Oh, that innocent person right there! Ah, oh, just slammed right into them. Only on CBS2 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles, sideswiped by a stolen construction truck. The woman who made it out of this ordeal recounts the horrifying seconds she went through during this pursuit. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Well, the driver was shaken but unharmed during that nighttime collision. Yeah, she talked only to CBS2 about the sparking stolen truck that nearly ran her off the 110 freeway last night. CBS2's Rachel Kim is live in Pomona with the interview you won't see anywhere else. Rachel. Yeah, Pat and Jeff, that woman told us she was on the phone with her husband via Bluetooth as she drove along the 10 freeway here. And after she got hit by the pursuit suspect, he took this off ramp and tried to escape police. Meanwhile, the woman says her husband heard the entire thing and didn't know what had happened to her for hours. I think that that, uh, that this trailer right here. Oh, no. Oh, that innocent person right there. Ah. Oh. Just slammed right into them. That now, innocent the person sideswiped by the man driving this stolen construction truck during a wild police pursuit Tuesday night is Lillian Steger. I look at that video and I go, oh my God, my guardian angel has um, earned their wings 10 times over. This is unbelievable. Honestly, Steger tells us she was on the westbound 10 freeway on her way to Pomona to pick up her husband from work around 8.30 p.m. She was just a few miles away when she was hit by the work truck that had a road sign trailer attached with sparks flying. I was thinking of my husband, of my granddaughter, am I going to die? You know, is this accident... Um, gonna do me in. Steger was hit at the westbound Town Avenue off ramp and fortunately came to a stop without being seriously injured. I was crying, I was scared. I was having problems breathing. Ontario and Fontana police were pursuing the armed suspect who they say first fled the Claremont area in another stolen vehicle, which he later crashed into the construction truck, held up its driver at gunpoint and took off again. During the pursuit, the truck dragged a sparking trailer as it hit a number of cars, including Steger's, and drove the wrong way. It came to an end when an armored SWAT vehicle entered the picture and pinned the truck to the center divider. Right, look at that. Boom, stopped. Stopped and the suspect is out. Oh my, I'm running in lanes of the freeway. The suspect tried to run, but a police dog quickly cornered and bit him before he was arrested. Steger says she's thankful to be alive, but believes police pursuits compromise public safety. No, they could have won about it a different way, less aggressive, and I think there's definite room for improvement. Today, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department told me in pursuits like this, it is within their policy for their pilot and crew on board their helicopter to use lethal force or shoot from their helicopter as a last resort. Now, they say last night the lethal force was authorized by the pursuing agency, which happened to be the Fontana Police Department. But ultimately, it is up to the sheriff's pilot or crew member on board that helicopter to decide what action to take. Obviously, in this case, they did not. We also asked police about the uh, suspect who was arrested and Ontario police tell us he is a 32 year old Ontario resident named Freddie Baltazar. They say they recovered a handgun from where he was arrested and obviously he faces a long list of charges. Reporting live in Pomona, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.